I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my October mix. Now I've had to change the setup a little bit today because there is like glaring light coming through the window um, and I would have like squares on my face of light so I've kind of moved the camera around and I'm kind of in the corner of my um, bedroom filming which is actually okay um, I hope the light's good I am going to invest in some light soon so hopefully then I'll have even light and I'll be able to film at night which will be good um, rather than squeezing in filming on a Sunday morning or afternoon as it is now. So a fairly busy month in terms of makes, it was a very practical month so thinking about the colder weather and thinking about kind of work dresses, I had intended to make some of the dresses um, in the summer but actually I hadn't managed to and then I was looking at my kind of workwear wardrobe and then thinking oh wow okay I'm wearing the same things over and over again um, and I just don't really like that you know I see the same class kind of once on the same day every week and if I wear like the same dress then I feel like they'll notice they probably don't even notice but you know so the first one I've got to show you is this so this is the Elliot sweater and that is by Helen's closet so the pattern comes with a few different variations so you can have like a higher neck or just a normal neck and you can also make it in t-shirt weight fabrics and then make it into a t-shirt as well. This was my very first version. So I made it in this grey sweatshirting with the birds and pink flowers. You might remember this from a haul video a couple of months ago maybe. And it's really nice and fleecy on the inside came together really well I've done the three quarter length sleeve and the slit in the side as well and I will pop a picture in for you to see it but it is really nice and warm and snuggly and I will do a full review video on this one um, for you because I've got a couple more versions to show you as well so my next make was this so this is um, a blackwood cardigan again by Helen's Closet. Now I find the shoulders on the clothes from Helen's Closet um, fit me really well, so both the cardigan and the um, jumpers fit me on the shoulders really well and I really struggle with that in patterns. So that's why I kind of keep going to Helen's Closet whenever she brings out a new pattern. So I can kind of have the next thing that kind of fits my shoulders because I really like that. Less alterations. Um, so this is another Blackwood cardigan. Now this is a lot longer, so a lot of my other ones I've made in the kind of shorter length, like a mid length, but this one is the long length, or almost the, the full long length. I did make a few changes, so I did again double the kind of neck band, and I didn't include the pockets on it. I keep struggling with the pockets, um, and I'd rather just kind of leave them off. This fabric is one that I bought uh, about a couple of months ago from Butterfly Fabrics in Cardiff and is a really nice heavy weight. So I've been wearing this cardigan more as a coatigan because it is quite thick and it therefore is quite heavy. So really lovely, I've got quite a lot of wear out of this already and I will post a picture of me wearing it so you can see it on. So the next five are all dresses and they are my self-drafted pattern. So it's basically a t-shirt dress, so it's got the bodice that comes just a little bit under my chest and then I add pleats to the skirt and the bodice has slight um, darts in the front and back and then I add sleeves. And these are in a range of different um, fabrics but they are perfect for me to wear to work with a cardigan and it means I just don't have to worry about what I'm wearing each day and also if I'm wearing a nice handmade dress it makes me feel a lot happier during the day as well. So the first one is this one. So darts as normal and then I did pleats but I did inverted pleats so they're coming in this way and this is in a cotton jersey and this beautiful blue colour with the white flowers and this is from Stoff and Steel so this was one of my Stoff and Steel um, fabrics that I bought a little while ago 
and I will post a picture of me wearing this one so you can see with this uh, fabric it is a little bit more structured and I do si add a little bit to the seam allowance to size up a little bit when I'm wearing this one because this, the cotton jersey doesn't stretch as much as viscose jersey does so that's that first one so really love that the next one is this one now this is kind of a black grey background so this is a viscose um, jersey but I got it from eBay so it's quite thin um, not necessarily see-through because I wear a vest top and tights underneath anyway uh, but actually yeah not as high quality fabric I actually think that although it said viscose it's actually a polyester um, but so it just it just feels a little bit more silky it's a little bit thinner but it came up really nicely this is one of the fabrics from my stash and I've added kind of pleats at the front here and then pleats on the skirt as well instead of darts but then on the back I've got a uh, pleat, two pleats and then the dart at the back as well so that is that one. I know I'm not usually wearing kind of uh, black or grey backed fabrics but this was one that I had before I kind of made that decision to change to just buying kind of navy and things like that but still I've got lots of cardigans that go with it and is a nice change to wear with um, some black tights. And then I made this one so this is in a fabric from Sew Over It so I think I got this in January time and it's a blue background with these beautiful flowers on it, big flower pattern. Uh, again, I've got the dart in the front and then the pleats and then the same in the back as well. And I will post a picture of me wearing that one as well. Then this one. So this is, not from Marks and Spencers, um, this is from eBay um, so this is a fabric that I've had for a really long time maybe a couple of years uh, and I already made a dress out of it basically the same as this and um, I've basically remade that dress and it was because it's faded a lot I think I've worn it you know once or once a week for the last kind of two years or so um, and it's faded quite a lot so it's got like a greyish background now whereas this was the initial fabric so this is a remake of that dress so a few more pleats in the front, darts as well, same sleeves, and then a slight pleat in the back as well. And that's that one. And I will post a picture of me wearing that one as well. And then the last one is this one. So again, this is a fabric I've had a little while. This was initially from Fabricland. Uh, I don't know if they still have it. They do set, tend to restock fabrics. So there's this one. And I have a sleeveless dress in this, which I wear a lot. So I decided to make this to wear to school. I had enough fabric to squeeze this out of it. So exactly the same um, in the front. This is a viscose jersey. Just one change at the back. I had to piece the back. So I've got two halves on the back there. Um, I didn't really try and pattern match uh, very much. I didn't really have much fabric to work with. And then the same at the back of the skirt as well. So there's a seam running all the way down the back. But I don't mind that too much. Um, at least I was able to get a dress out of that leftover fabric, which is really good. Um, just using up that bit from my stash. And actually really love the colours um, and pattern on this one. So I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that. So a few makes in the last month, really practical things that I really needed in my wardrobe. I am starting to assess a little bit more the things that I actually need and the things that I'm wearing. And that's why I'm finding I'm making a lot more jumpers and things like that, because those are the things that I'm wearing at home and then dresses for when I'm going to work as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers by Christmas, so you'd really be helping me out with that. Thank you so much. Bye.